I'm Kudafoop and in this video I'm going to explain how to maximize your damage in dungeons but also outside of it. Before I get into the video only a few of you are subscribed so please do. It's free and you can always unsubscribe. Anyway let's get into the video. I'm going to start by talking about melee damage so if you're a mage just skip this part. Melee damage is affected by strength and crit damage so we need to focus on getting those two up as much as we can. Now why is high damage even necessary? lifesteal. Lifesteal regenerates you for every time you hit a mob, so the higher the damage, the higher the lifesteal. And this is how berserkers can tank a lot of damage. I'm going to start off with a more obvious way to increase your damage, but I'll keep it short. Combat. Combat is by far the most important when it comes to increasing your damage. Each level of combat increases your damage by 4%. This is super important. Level up your combat. Up next is forging. Forging is super important because it gives you strength and strength is very key to doing damage. As I told you, strength and crit damage are very important. Level forging even though it sucks. Talismans. Talismans are very important to the game. You have like a whole bag to put them in so get as many as you can for as cheap as you can and make sure to run the talisman optimizer to get the most out of your talismans. And since the mayor update you can also put enrichments on your talisman so use those for an extra bit of strength. And now by far the worst one to get, fairy souls. If you haven't gotten those yet, I'm so sorry. You're gonna have to watch Time Dio's video and spend like two hours of your life getting those, but it's very worth it. You'll get a bunch of health, a bunch of strength. You need this. If you don't have it, you're bad. Potions. Potions can give you 20% crit chance, meaning you can reforge more of your talisman towards damage rather than crit chance. If you're using a lifted dagger, this is no problem. You're chilling. Either way, potions are good. They give you free strength and crit damage. So if you want to up your damage, use a potion. Up next is something you don't have much control about, but it's blessings. Blessings are found through chests in the dungeon. The higher your base stats, the higher the blessing will be. Now, a blessing of power will give you strength and crit damage. The more blessings of power you get, the higher your damage will be by the end. Usually it will pretty much double your stats, so blessings make a huge difference in damage. Now we're going to get to the part where it involves everyone's worst nightmare, decision making. Let's start off with armor. Armor is super important and without it you would just die in one hit. So which armor is the best for damage? Shadow Assassin armor. Everyone knows this, it's out of the question, but a lot of people can't afford the chest plate since it's about 30 mil. So what chest plate should you use? I recommend using a zombie knight or a zombie soldier chest plate. The zombie knight chest plate will give you more damage, but the zombie soldier chest plate will give you more EHP. So make a good choice there. If you're rich enough, just buy the chest plate, five star your armor, make it fierce, and you'll do a lot more damage. Now I'm going to talk about pets and which pets are the best for damage. Number one is of course the Ender Dragon. It increases all your stats by 10% and this includes blessings making it ridiculously overpowered. Unfortunately it costs a lot of coins. Now the number two spot is actually held up by two pets, first being the legendary Wither Skeleton. This pet can deal up to 200% damage a second after your first strike, which is very overpowered. And the second pet is the legendary Tiger Pet, which will give you a 100% chance to double strike at level 100. This can be very overpowered, it's up to you which one you want to use. And here are some pet items to increase your damage even more. And last but not least, weapons. Now, there's a huge variety of weapons, so it's hard to say which one is best, but there are surely a few swords that are very good, and I'll put them on screen right now. You just have to look at how much money you can spend on your sword and what feels best for you. I prefer the Livid Dagger because it gives you 100 crit chance and attack speed. 100 crit chance is so convenient, you don't have to reforge your talisman for crit chance. And the attack speed is great because it basically doubles your damage. But once again, it's up to you to decide which sword you want to use. That's all there is to increasing your melee damage in dungeons. Now let's get into increasing your magic damage. I'm going to assume that you are not a left click mage. And if you are, you need to find a balance between intelligence and strength. Anyway, assuming you're a normal mage, you're going to need a lot of intelligence. And I'm going to tell you how to get as much as you can. The reason you need a lot of intelligence is because magic damage scales with intelligence so the more intelligence the higher your magic damage will be. So let's talk about skills that affect your intelligence and those are enchanting and alchemy. Now you want to level them up as much as you can because every bit of intelligence will 
matter and will increase your damage so try to level those up as for talismans you want to reforge all of them to bizarre to get as much intelligence as you can you can also use an enrichment to get even more intelligence if you want now the best armor set for mage is necromancer lord with shadow goggles but if you can't afford the chest plate you've got to get a little bit creative you can use a young chest plate a super heavy chest plate perfect chest plate Obviously you want to 5 star all of those pieces and make them all necrotic except for the chest plate which you want to make loving. As for the pet you want to use a legendary she pet and put a textbook on it to get as much intelligence as you can. This pet also increases your ability damage. Now let's get to mage weapons. Voodoo doll, yeti sword, spirit scepter and midas staff are some of the best weapons in the current meta. Now any class you play you're either meleeing or using magic weapons so that's how to increase your damage for every class. And the tips I gave for Berserkers also applies to Archers. And here's one last tip that will increase your damage for every class. Get your Catacombs level up and get your class level up. This is more important than anything else. Just play Dungeons a lot. It makes money. It's fun. Do it. Well, that's all there is to increasing your damage in Dungeons. I hope it helped. I hope I taught you something you didn't know. Let me know if this video helped, let me know if I missed anything, and please leave a like, subscribe. I'm gonna start streaming soon, so here's my Twitch, so drop a follow there. And thank you for watching, take care.